everybody, it's here, boy, and welcome to another video response. And this time, I think this is possibly the first alt writer potentially that I've responded to. I cannot recall, I do not remember, but she's definitely the biggest one. And I'm, of course, responding to the Mary White House of YouTube, uh, Tara McCarthy, or is it McCartney? I can never remember. Sorry, Tara. I think I'll just call you Tara or, or T. Yeah, T. Let's call you T. In this video, she basically takes bait from Sargon. I know it's really old, but I really wanted to respond to this because it's just fun seeing this essentially Victorian moralist, as Sargon said in this video, complain about his trolling. Let's just see what this neat has to say about her. white genocide and other shit like that. I mean, you know, it, it, this is deep stuff. <laughs> Sargon trolling, it's deep shit, guys. I know, I know, we barely even started the video. That face. Oh, she's smug. She thinks she's better than you. And she's here to moralise and tell us exactly why we're wrong. Hey guys, so someone called Sargon of a Cat. It's okay, Tara. I do the same thing every video. Um, who's like a sceptic, I believe. I don't really follow his content. She forgot the trademark. And also, yeah, you're totally unaware of him that you are going to basically fight with him on Twitter all the time. Um, he's criticising me for not having kids yet um, and therefore promoting white genocide. You see this, Tara? That's the joke. And me is you. I mean, to be fair, it was a slight criticism, but it was mostly a joke. It was to point out that a lot of the alt-right, pretty much the vast majority of you, are a bunch of sexless neats who don't get laid and yet are going on about the need for babies to propagate the white race to stop the genocide that is allegedly happening to the white race. I think you should probably take that on point. It wasn't necessarily you, you were used as an example, but again, it was mostly bait to troll you and make you make videos like this, essentially. And well, you, you took it, hook, line and sinker, mate. And, and I'm just gonna continue throwing out bait because it's fun. You know. And apparently he's trying to troll the alt-right, which is, um, and this is his way by which to do so. Yes, and you making this video has proven that yes, he has trolled the alt-right. You have taken the bait, you are taking what he says very seriously, even though you kind of know it's a troll, or as you're saying it's a troll. I, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know if you got your priority straight, or your brain is all there. But if you know he's trolling and he's trying to get a rise out of you, then the only thing you should do is either troll back or ignore him. Because making serious videos about this shit is only going to further prove his point. Um, all I have to say is, firstly, white people having fewer kids actually wouldn't be a problem if it wasn't for, for the mass immigration. Uh, you, you do realise that He's trolling you, right? And all of a sudden, it wouldn't be that much of an issue if we just didn't have all these immigrants in, which might be a point to make, but you're forgetting that quite a lot of those immigrants aren't necessarily non-white, especially in the European Union. We have a lot of people who are under the Schengen area who can move around as much as they want within the boundaries of the EU. It's kind of a very general kind of ex over-exaggerated point to say it's just mass immigration. I mean, I know you're trying to say it's non-white immigration, but in my country, for example, that's been on a decline for the best part of 20 years. We've seen more immigrants from the EU than we've seen from uh, the Commonwealth. So mass immigration, you kind of need to be specific, my dear. Of people who have far more children. Um... Also, I watched this video by, is it Kamiz, I can't even pronounce its name. It's that channel with the cartoons who make really serious science videos. They just talk about, you know, anything from space to population dynamics. And they were talking about overpopulation. And in this video, I will link it down below. They talk about how even in third world countries like Bangladesh, India, uh, other countries like that, who are beginning to become more modernized, mechanized, they're getting past the industrial part of their development. Even their birth rates are declining. Yes, they still on average have bigger families, but they're more on par of the 1970s than, say, what you seem to be suggesting is like the 1890s when people had loads and loads of kids. Whether we, you like it or not, these people are eventually going to not have many kids themselves. That's a natural aspect of societal progression. And even then, even then, if the population rate remained the same, 
it would take quite a lot for these people to actually overcome the native population. Like, even in England, when we were conquered over and over again by different peoples, the general population of England didn't really change an awful lot, at least for the first couple of centuries. So, yeah. And even to this day, we still have people who are very, very similar to their ancestors. Although it depends where you are in England, of course. As you can imagine, what would happen from an economic standpoint is that um, people, if so if white people had fewer children and then didn't import immigrants, what would happen is that wages would rise for the next generation and then people would, um, you know, have more children probably, I assume, because they know that their kids are going to be very well off. Well, yes, Khaleesi, it is known that too much immigration depresses wages. We know this. However, just because we have less of it doesn't necessarily mean that white people are going to have more children. Because again, as I mentioned before, the more a country develops, the less kids the people have. Look at Japan, for example, the, the much vaunted Asian country that the alt-right are so in love with. They are well past us in development and are having even less kids than we are. So even when we had much better wages than we do now, I'm not talking about 10 years ago, I'm talking about 40, 50 years ago, during the uh, second golden age of Britain. Even then, we had less kids then than we did, say, 50 years before. They were already down that road. So, yeah, even with the high wages, even after World War II, no, they continued having less kids. It's not how it works, Sarah. I, I know that you lot love to go on about how great you are at stuff like this, but it's pretty clear that sociology and anthropology and science is a really strong point. Um, and that's how it would work economically, the population size would fluctuate. Well, actually, there'll come a point when there will be so many people that it flattens. We well, see, eventually, the human race will have so much people that eventually it will actually stop growing and then it will start to decline, or maybe it'll just be a straight line. And I just love how she's taking this completely seriously, and I, I don't even know why I'm genuinely responding to it now. <laughs> I, I need to I need to bring back the memes, because it's pretty clear that she's spurging out over this. I mean, Tara, you're responding to a bait. You're responding to a troll. Again, do you have any self-awareness? He knows about all this. I know about all this. Everybody knows about this. What we're laughing at is that the alt-right are doing nothing about it. You're just complaining online, and as many of you all said, well, a lot of us would love to have kids and to propagate the white race, but our lifestyles are getting in the way, and we just, we just can't get rid of those lifestyles. We're too selfish. Well, I'm sorry, but as Sargon said, if you guys are going to go around doing what you say you want to do, or people should do, because you're telling people to do it, you're not actually doing it yourselves, you're not leading by example, that's the point of the troll. That was the point of what people were saying, but you don't have the self-awareness to notice that, Tara. Okay, guys, let's, let's make this a bit more memeable. Now, even if that didn't happen, it would still be totally fine. White genocide wouldn't happen um, if it wasn't for mass immigration, because we'd still be 100% majority in our own homeland. Uh, no, you wouldn't in this country. Firstly, I live here. So it wouldn't be 100%. We've got loads of other communities that have lived here for hundreds of years, not just decades. So our country would not be 100% white. It would be impossible to be. Even the other European countries like Germany and France and Italy and Spain, they wouldn't be either. Your point is invalidated. <laughs> and again, you're doing nothing anyway to make this utopia happen so why are you expounding on this i think i think you just you're trying to make it out like yes you are doing something so this is why you're being very serious and explaining white genocide and besides it, it's really not happening i mean capable of changing our economic policies to suit us we already can and by us she means white people she, she wouldn't mean me obviously capable of uh promoting uh, our own race to have more children, for example. You can already do that. And even then, would most people be for your policies? Would they be for what you want to happen? Because you're forgetting that most white people are in favour or even believe in white genocide or the policies that you guys want to enact. You are very much a very small minority. Also, this begs the question, if it's going to be 100% white people in Britain, what happens to me? What happens to all the other people who aren't white, exactly? I'm, I'm just very curious, Tara. I mean, are, are we going to have a non-white genocide? 
hmm, am I going to have to move somewhere? Because I have nowhere else to go. I, I've only got this place. Or, or do I become like some kind of non-citizen resident? Besides, there's nothing stopping me from having a kid. I mean, I don't particularly want kids. You're lucky there. But what is to say that I might change my mind at the age of 40 and go, you know what? I would like to propagate. So I go and pick a wife or a girlfriend and I uh, have a baby with her. Then you're fucked because I've just created another mixed race baby. So then what? You're going to have to get rid of me. Otherwise you can't have 100% white people, can you? Oh Tara, I'm loving this. This whole video, this whole serious essay on white genocide and bullshit like that is all because of a troll. All because of a troll. Oh dear. So again, it wouldn't be genocide. When it becomes genocide is when there are policies in place that over the long term will result in the disenfranchisement, the displacement, and eventually the genocide and extinction of a group of people. Which isn't happening in Europe. Yes, there is a certain amount of disenfranchisement, but that's more happening to poor white people than it is to the rich. And that's been happening for a very, very long time, well before social justice warriors even gained power. But we're not seeing people being displaced from their homes. We're not seeing people being rounded up and shot or gassed or any of these other things. We're not seeing an Armenian type genocide happening. We're not seeing a Holocaust happening here. So I fail to see how this is a genocide. No European country has had their majorities overturned. And again, this is all based on a troll. And that's happening to every single white country on earth right now. Everyone? So although it's generally a good thing for whites to have more babies at this point, it's not the crux of the issue. The crux of the issue is immigration. So you're basically trying to take a part of the blame that you have and put it entirely on them. Okay. Got it. Seriously though, you're doing nothing to sort the issue out. Literally, people are not going to listen to you because of the shit that you espouse on Twitter and on YouTube. Seriously, Sargon was right. And spurging out like this over trolls and taking bait is also not going to help. And to be honest, I have no sympathy because if, if this is the future of, 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 uh, of our country, of, of Europe, if you guys ever do take power, then god damn we do deserve a nuclear machinist holocaust or whatever's gonna happen. And that's the number one thing that I talk about on this channel. Additionally, I don't know, maybe he thinks I look 35 or something, but I'm actually fairly young and my grandma got married uh, just two years before my current age, two years younger than my current age, and she had 10 kids. So I definitely have at least eight kids in me, um, even if I just started now. But you're not having kids, are you? And again, that's your grandmother who had ten kids from a different point in time. When people did have kids and started families at a younger age. You're almost making excuses for yourself. Oh, I'm very young right now, but I don't have to have kids right now because I'm so young. I've got plenty of years ahead of me to have eight children. Well, good luck trying to find a partner that will give you those eight kids. Because you're going to need it. Because I know for one thing, you do not find virgin neats who go on about white genocide attractive. Come on, do you find any of these fucking alt-right cooks attractive? No, you don't. Women don't look for that in men. They don't. They look for something a little bit, I don't know, upmarket to say the least. They don't look for people who whine and whinge about that kind of stuff. They want somebody who's self-sufficient, who can look after them, who can provide for them, who can protect them, who is an adult, he's mature, he's funny, I, mean, I could go on. None of these things are your typical alt-right neat. And although I don't like to talk about my personal life for various different reasons on this channel, um, there's no reason that Sargon should assume that I'm A, not trying to get pregnant, B, not already pregnant, um, or C, that perhaps I am medically infertile. My dear, it's called a joke. He's not really making many judgments on you other than right now he doesn't see you having kids yet you lot are going on about the need to make babies. Yet none of you are making babies. Maybe some of you, a minority of you, but most of you are just sitting here going online spurging out about race realism and white genocide and bullshit like that. You're not doing anything. What are you doing? to protect this race that you love so much, apparently. Nothing. You're doing nothing. When push comes to shove, you don't want to do it. 
You are not willing to. You, you don't have the drive. That's why so many of you are being called out for that shit and why that video was made. Because it's fun to see you guys be taken aback by this and go, wait, 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 no, we're definitely doing something. How dare you make assertions about me? Infer these things that you didn't infer on us. We, we, we are doing this. Well, we're just really young and we've got plenty of time, even though time is not of the essence because there's a genocide going on allegedly right now. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, love, priorities need to be straightened out here, clearly. You know, there are various different reasons why I either may not have kids or maybe or, or may already have secret children that I haven't told you about because I don't want the SPLC to try and get the um, CPS to take them off me. Tara, you don't live in America, as far as I know. You might do. But the Crown Prosecution Service do not take kids away. Oh, the excuses. The excuses just keep pouring in, please. Douse me with them. It gives me a nice shower. And I know other people in the alt-right who don't talk about their kids, okay, at all. They just make it out like they don't have any because um, we're obviously in danger of, you know, Child Protective Services coming and taking our kids off us for being racists. And this also happened to someone in the UK who had their kids taken to foster care because they voted UKIP. I'm going to need a citation needed on that because why would the social services take somebody's kid away because of what party their parents voted. I know it's UKIP, but that is not a sufficient reason for the, for the services to go out and take kids away. Obviously something else must have been happening for them to come to the conclusion that they need to take their kids away. I'm just being a skeptical tia about this. And even then, that's not an excuse. You're trying to make it out like, how dare you assume these things? Well, we're not gonna go on about and be honest because of dangers that may or may not exist. But that's not the point. What we see are people not having kids. Most of your uh, community, quote unquote, your ideology, are not doing what they preach. The fact of the matter is, these people are basically causing their own downfall because they're not remedying the problem that they like to go on about. In fact, they are making it worse. That's the joke. This is all based on a joke and you are basically taking this very, very seriously. You really are the Mary White House of YouTube because she would have done the exact same thing about violence and bad language and other stuff in videotapes and get, I shouldn't really go against games, but films especially. Yeah, you, you, you and her would get along. So, there are very good reasons why I'm not openly discussing my personal life in that way, as much as I'd like to, you know, I'm quite an open person, but it just doesn't make sense for me to do so at the moment when I'm under attack like this. Oh, oh, please help me, I'm under attack. Oh, please, help me. That's the no social justice thing I've ever seen. That's what a social justice warrior does. This is what female social justice warriors do all the time. They cry about being under attack when somebody makes a joke about them. Come on, Tara, really? And besides, if you were so worried about your personal life, if you were so worried about these hypothetical kids, why are you throwing your real name out there? I assume it's your real name. You should be going under a pseudonym and to be even more secure, not show your face or even hide your voice if need be. Because that's what some people do who are scared about certain parts of their lives being exposed online. But hey, oh, what do I know? What do I know? I'm just a filthy quarter breed. Um, but yeah, the issue, the primary issue is immigration. And that is the primary thing we need to focus on addressing. Oh really now? Because I could swear that the goalposts over there just moved over there. And I think Sargon is also intelligent enough to realise that attacking an individual does not debunk their arguments. And I don't think you're self-aware enough to realise that all this was a big massive troll and you were literally just spigging out over nothing. But conversely, you could be a little bit smart enough to use this to your advantage and to use social justice tactics to basically drum up a little bit of sympathy for you and get your community and your fan base all lived up and ready for a nice little fight, right? But I think it's the former. You kind of acknowledge that he was trolling, but you're taking this far too seriously to be using this against him because it's working out for him right now. You're looking like an absolute joke. <laughs> you, you literally, you have taken his words literally, the joke has gone well over your head, and honestly, I'm enjoying watching this. This is one of the most funniest videos I've ever watched. The horseshoe is very much in effect, guys. I hope, I hope you've noticed that already. So, yet again, you know, he's not really coming up with very good points here. Yeah, you see, the point wasn't a massive reason debate. It's called trolling. 
He was baiting you, Tara. Apparently, and again, the I attacking like to say to Sargon, oh, you know, you think it's me. okay oh. to joke about white genocide, to say that you um, want white genocide to happen faster and things, you know, maybe that's a joke. Okay, maybe that's a joke. Um, but I bet you wouldn't be saying that about Tibetan genocide or Rwandan genocide or any other group of people on earth. And yet again, that just goes to show that people constantly think they can take stabs at white people with no repercussions. Oh, oh, oh big words, Tara. What are you going to do? Moan about it? Write an angry letter? Complain to the local MP about Sargon of Akkad of Swindon? Mo take the piss out of white people? Really now? Oh, again, just so social justice. I can just imagine Francesca Ramsey saying this. You can't just take the piss out of black people and expect no repercussions. I can imagine her saying that. White genocide doesn't exist. There is no genocide happening right now. What happened in Rwanda? What happened in Armenia? What happened in Europe during World War II? What happened anywhere where there was a genocide actually happened. And to be honest, he could joke about that if he wanted to. I don't know what he finds funny when it comes to genocide. But yeah, when it comes to you guys going on about something that doesn't actually exist, yeah, I think more power to him. And besides, it riles you up. You guys genuinely get wound up and become social justice warriors. You're basically saying, oh, uh, you can joke about all these other things, like social justice warriors, ethnic minorities, and other things like that. But when it comes to the precious white people, no, don't joke about them, because we just can't handle it. I mean, seriously, do you think so low of white people that they can't take jokes like that, really? Wow, such supremacists you guys are. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye. Ta-ra, love. Anyway, that was the end of the video. And I think we, we, it's pretty obvious that Tara McCarthy has done nothing but simply prove Sargon's point. That they are a bunch of idiotic neats that are taking his bait far too seriously. They will most likely fail to achieve their goals unless the social justice warriors continue to make everything a living hell for us and fuck even that up. It's so weird to see somebody who has an inkling that he's trolling but then takes everything he says so seriously. It's so weird. I'm loving this. Anyway, till next time, people. It's been your boy, and I'll see you later.